Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we will still look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 through 14, as we look at the specific role of the evangelist. Ephesians 4, verse 11 through 14, it says, So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of of Christ. We previously looked at the apostle and the prophet and today we will look at the evangelist. We know that all these persons are a gift from God to the entire body, the body of Christ, the church. So the evangelist's job is to announce the good news. An evangelist is a person with a special gift and calling from the Holy Spirit. But it comes with the responsibility of spreading the good news of the gospel. So as we previously said, the evangelist is a gift from God to the body of Christ, the church, just as the apostle and the prophet is. The work of an evangelist requires special grace. So as all the others, but sometimes the, the life of the evangelist involved hardship and suffering based on where this evangelist has to take the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we see that even in the days of Jesus, even as he himself went out to evangelize. We saw it when he went to the well of Sychar, when he was going down to Samaria. It's a place that um, Jews doesn't like to go. But Jesus said he had to go that way because he knew that there was somebody there who needed to hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we see because the evangelist walks in the footstep of Jesus and has to do these things, has to carry out the good news, there are places that they will go that sometimes they will suffer hardship or, you know, sufferings will come along their way. The old body of Christ should benefit from this ministry of the evangelist. The Bible declares that the work of the evangelist is for the perfecting of the saints. It is for the work of that ministry to equip the body of Christ as Ephesians 4 and verse 12 tells us. In Acts chapter 21 and verse 8, we see where Philip was called an evangelist. We see the Apostle Paul giving Timothy the charge to do the work of an evangelist. There are many laymen and women who has never been or have conducted any large crusades as sort, but are great soul winners. They have the gift of evangelism. The work of the evangelist is that the evangelist would win the lost to Christ. And this is done through preaching of the gospel, the good news, and the power of the Holy Spirit. And again we see it is for the building of the church of Christ. Jesus himself declares that the fields are ripe and ready for harvest in St. John 4 verse 35 and 38. Therefore, we see the evangelist as one who goes out to reap the great harvest. 
in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 2, the Apostle Paul said to Timothy, Preach the word. Do so in season and out of season. Make use of every opportunity that you can find. And so, because the Apostle Paul had already encouraged Timothy to do the work of an evangelist, he's now encouraging him. Every opportunity you get, whether it's in season or out of season, proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So the evangelist must be prepared to preach the gospel at any time, at any cost, at anywhere. The evangelist must be able to have an answer for the reason of their hope, as Second Peter 3 and verse 15 declares. As the primary task of the evangelist is to win the loss, he or she has to go out and carry out the great commission that Jesus Christ gave. He says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. He also said that the evangelist has to do it with compassion because he himself went out and when he looked, he saw the people as a sheep that having no shepherd, they were lost. The evangelist's job is to win them, to call them to the kingdom of God. So they are to preach that people must understand God's offer of salvation, to respond in repentance by faith, and to turn around and to disciple others. We see this with the woman at the well of Sychar. When she met Jesus, she ran into her village and she called all her folks, all her loved ones, all those with whom she live amongst. Come, come and hear the good news of the gospel for yourself because I have met a man and he must be the Messiah. So the evangelist is a gatherer. The evangelist goes out and gathers and brings that great harvest, as it were, together to the house of God to be taken care of by the pastor and the teacher. And we will get to that at a later stage. But they gather with compassion as they are compassionate held by the Holy Spirit to do the work of an evangelist, to make sure that this evangelist is operating, he or she, in their calling. As they emulate the one who have called them, Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, who while he was on earth, was the greatest evangelist of them all. You see, as we have gone through the apostle, we see that Jesus Christ himself was an apostle. As we have gone through um, the prophet, we see that Jesus Christ himself was a prophet. And today we see that Jesus Christ himself was a great evangelist. He was in the business of saving souls. And so today, it is the same great job of the evangelist to emulate Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, to have compassion on those that are lost. Jesus Christ himself saw the fields that were white and ready for harvest. The evangelist goes out with a motive, knowing that the end is near the day of judgment is approaching and therefore persuades men everywhere to repent second corinthians 5 and verse 11 to those that are called to be an evangelist i encourage you like the apostle paul please do the work of an evangelist Build up the body of Christ and the kingdom of God. Equip the saints for the work of service and win the lost for Jesus Christ at any cost. It is costly 
to be an evangelist physically and spiritually emotionally financially in all the different ways but because it is a gift and a calling from god himself upon the life of such believers who are called to be evangelists it is the prayer of my heart and may it be the prayer of every believer to remember the evangelist in prayer and whatsoever we can do with our tangible means to support them to encourage them in the work of the lord because as much as we know that our labor also will not be in vain in the lord so today god bless every apostle every prophet and so today every evangelist as they carry out the work that god has called them to do the calling that he has placed upon their lives and to be this gift truly the gift that god has given unto the church for the equipping of the saints god bless you and thank you again for watching